Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the Chernobyl or Pripyat map on your Daisy Community private custom server. Now it's important to remember that this map from Scar713 is a work in progress. Um, he posted it on Steam first on the 1st of October and then did an update on the 3rd. So you know there's, there's probably a lot of work to do um, but it looks uh, it looks pretty cool and it's an interesting place to explore and it's very very easy to install because he gives us everything we need so as ever with anything daisy and modding the first step is go to steam look into the workshop go to the daisy workshop and you want to subscribe to the chernobyl map i'll put a link in the description below the video and then give that a few minutes to download and then what we want to do is we want to have a look at these files just to see what's installed what we've got to install on our server so what you probably want to do at this point is find where those files are now if you're not sure where to find your uh, steam workshop files if you just fire up the daisy launcher and then click on the mods section on the left hand side and find the chernobyl map mod what you can then do is if you look at for the little arrow on the right hand side click on that on these little three dots down here click on that and it says open folder in windows explorer so click on that funny enough and it'll just warn you say look when you go into these folders don't move anything don't change anything because you will break your game so just say so you understand and it will open up the folder where all your mods are probably won't have as many as this and there it is at chernobyl map so let's double click inside and let's just have a look to see what there is so we've got the add-ons at the top so this is the this is the engine room of the mod you know this is the these are the big big files that have the different uh, landscape in and the different um, textures and things like that and then we've got daisy.chernobyl zone now this is the missions file so you now normally on your server you'll have like uh, offline.chernobyl plus or offline.enoch or Namalsk or something else and that is the folder that has all your XML files in that control the central loot economy for your server you know everything from where zombies spawn to cars to helicopters to where um, the nearest uh, canteen spawns so as you can see we, we're getting all of that that's really cool and then we have the keys folder so that's the key that we've got to make sure we upload to our server um, so that the clients and the servers talk to each other and they know they are singing from the same hymn sheet so next thing we probably want to do is you want to fire up your ftp client i'm using uh, filezilla and you want to connect to your remote server and again we want to find on our local computer where the steam workshop mods are a uh, quick way to doing this if you're not sure where they are is if actually in the folder we were in before if you just go to the top of the screen and then left click in the address bar it gives you an absolute address which you can then right click copy go back to filezilla and you can paste that in press enter and we're there already but but there it is so as we scroll down on the left hand side this is our local computer and on the right hand side this is our remote server uh, make sure you're in the root directory for daisy standalone just like there and we're in the workshop here and there you see chernobyl map so just left click it once right click upload and that will then start the process of uploading chernobyl map now it's quite a large one so it's going to take a few minutes to do but with files in and with most ftp programs you can actually queue up files so what we can do now is we can actually scroll down on the right hand side and go down to the keys folder and then what we do is we open up the chernobyl map mod by clicking the little plus here and then there's another keys folder so we're interested in this folder this file here so we left click that right click it click upload and that will then be quickly uploaded to the keys folder which you can see uh, scar713.bikey which is there so that means that the server and the client know that they're uh, they've got the same mod now the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure we upload all those xml's the missions folder that we talked about earlier so there it is so that's the missions folder on the remote server so if we just open that up and we know daisy.chernobyl zone that's the missions folder that we've got to upload so we just select mp missions select daisy.chernobyl zone right click upload and that will then start uploading all those lovely xml's that are going to make sure everything spawns in the right place now once that's completed and it takes a couple of minutes because some of these files are very very big we've uploaded the the, the the uh the data we need to our servers but now we need to tell our server to start and when it restarts to start by running the chernobyl map so 
what you want to do is you want to go over to your um, web interface for your servers and um, this is Nitrado I'm using as an example um, let's find the server I'm putting on 1T test server so if we come into here now although this obviously is Nitrado and it's going to be different for your particular server provider the idea is going to be the same and you want to find in the settings on Nitrado it's in the general settings but you want to find the, the line that is something to do with additional mods that start when your server starts. Um, if you've got access to the batch file, so if you're running this um, uh, map mod locally or your server provider gives you um, access to the start batch file, then it will be in there. But if, if you've got that, you probably know what you're doing anyway. But the line um, we want to add to our additional mods is this one here, at Chernobyl map. Now, I've already got a couple of mods running on this server at CF, that's the community framework, and at Zombri admin tools. So they're the ones that allow you to fly around the map and the free cam and spawn things in. Um, so we need to add action number map. Now you might not be able to see this, but in between each of these mods uh, is a semicolon. So that's the dot with the comma underneath. So it separates those. So we just so you may well just have action number map is this if that's the only one you put in, or you might have something like um, community community online tools in there or whatever you want to do but it's important you add that and then you you uh, save that and at this point we probably want to stop our server um, like so because you'll probably find that you won't be able to edit the um, expert settings or the advanced settings or the config settings without stopping your server um, now we want to go over here to on nitrido it's the expert settings now you if you haven't enabled this you may well have to have the expert mode uh, selected um, and then you go into expert settings and this is actually the uh, server dz.config file now your server provider might give you direct access to this file but with Nitrado you have to go through the web interface to do it um, and as we scroll down you're looking for the template so there it is so your one probably says offline.chernerus plus or offline.enoch or namalsk or something like that we want to put in daisy.chernobyl zone and this is the line that's telling the server when you start start with the chernobyl zone um add um mod but also start with this mission file now if you're not sure about the spelling again if we go back to where the mod was and we go into it and we just left click the daisy.chernobyl zone uh, title once then left click it again we can then highlight that we can then copy that you can then go back to here and then you can paste that in in between these uh, exclamation marks or inverted commas um, to, to do that to do daisy dutch novel zone and then you would just save the changes and then you know start the server and make sure that you tell everybody take all tell all your survivors tell all the members of your uh, or your server that they're now going to have to go over to chernobyl map in the steam workshop and subscribe to it Otherwise, they're going to get um, missing PBO dot errors when they try and join your Daisy map. So there we go. That's how you install the Chernobyl map. As I say, it is a work in progress, um, but it's a really exciting map to have a look at and an interesting place to look around. There's obviously there's Chernobyl itself. Um, there's the amusement park. There's different bits of Pripyat to explore. Um, and yeah, it's amazing that these things are out there. Now, I'll add one thing on the end to this as well is sometimes when you find maps in the Steam Workshop, um, or they say they're a map. Sometimes they don't give you all the files you need. Um, a good example of that would be the uh, Daisy Stalker. Is it Area of Decay map, I think? And it says it's, it's the map. But what they're really giving you in the Steam Workshop is the uh, what, what you subscribe to is so that you can play on their server. And if you actually subscribe to the mods or any of the, the mods that are related to that, uh, map and you look at look at them on your local PC you'll find there's no mission files so you can't actually upload those to your server to run the map yourself they do this so that they can keep the map on their own server which is which is fair enough they've put a lot of time and effort into this and you may well find that with some other maps as well where they might be incomplete where they don't actually come with mission files so that you can have a look around but nothing will spawn in for example um, so it's just really, you know, you could go into God mode, go into free cam mode in Zombie Admin and, and have a fly fly around. But Chernobyl, it's not like that. So it's going to be really interesting to see if SCAR 713 uh, updates these updates this map. So if other people come along, we've got a real hunger for new maps, haven't we, on Daisy? Now now we've seen what Lamaus can be like and Rosto and uh, Utes. Um, 
and um, Deer Isle, of course. Um, so there we go. So anyway, that is how to install the Chernobyl map on your DAISY private community server. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Put your questions and comments down below. And I will, of course, see you again soon.